Okay, drone pool here. Um, I have my Hubson Zeno battery. The it's 3,000 milliamp, 11.4 volts. I have my Hubson charger that came with the Hubson Zeno. Um, I've been reading a lot about people complaining about their drones just falling out of the air. Um, a lot of speculation is battery failure. Now, I'm not sure if a lot of it is just poor manufacturing from the factory or if there's something else causing these batteries to fail. Um, the common consensus is, is that this charger that Hudson supplies is not sufficient to really give these batteries a proper charge. So I don't use this charger at all. I bought this cable right here off of eBay and I'll put a link down below and this allows me to use my hobby grade charger so I just finished charging this battery but I want to check the cells and see how even the cells have uh, have charged so we'll take a look at that I may cut away and come back to when I'm ready. Okay, then I should be able to go to here. Okay, here's what my bolt here's what my cells look like. I got four three 4.34, 4.35, and 4.34. So they're right there. Just one point separates the three of them. So that's a good balance right there. So what I'll do is I will fly this battery, hopefully tomorrow, and then I'll come back and check the cells after I fly and see where they're at. And then I'll probably go ahead and charge the battery again with the Hubson charger to see what the cells look like after it's been powered on, uh, charged with this. And then if it's not very bad, I may go ahead and fly it and discharge the battery and see where the cells are at then. So, so initial outlook is the balance charger balances the battery very well so that's what I wanted to find out all right I'll come back and we'll continue in a bit okay so I just went and had it well it's two hours ago I flew this battery two hours ago and I flew it down to um, 60 percent so not a real long flight. So what I want to do now is check the cells to see if they still remain constant or you know fairly close to each other since the flight. So I'm gonna do that now. Hook this up to the charger. Plug the charger in. Okay, what's it showing us? Okay, the cell, let me turn this off. Oh, not too much. Oh, well, well, I think you can read it there. 402, 403, 401. So they're still pretty constant. There's not a lot of major fluctuation. So... <coughs> What I'm going to do now is, which is so, I'm happy with that result. So what I'm going to do now is charge the battery with the Hubson charger. And then I'm going to check the cells to see how evenly they charge. 
And I'll make a determination if I want to fly it with that or not. Or, or discharge it and recharge it with this. But So we'll go ahead and get it charged with the Hudson charger and we'll just check the cells out and see what they say. Okay, I'm back. And I don't know if you can see. The Hudson charger says the battery is charged. So we'll check the cells. We'll just compare and see if they are evenly charged as compared to this charger. They are evenly charged. 430, 431, and 430. But they're not charged as high as what this charger does. This gives it a fuller charge. So what I'm going to do is continue charging this battery with this charger. So, even though this batter, this charger, the Hubson charger, seemed to charge the cells evenly, it didn't give it a full charge. So, I guess that shows that, well, it went down to, so, so I can't really say that the charger does a poor job at balancing, it just does a poor job at giving it the full charge. So, we'll just leave it hooked up. Okay, it's set on lipo charge. So, I change that to... LIHB. Move it up to three cells. Start. And I always ask you, gives you a warning just to double check to make sure you're wanting to charge for LIHV. And it's charging. So when it's done, I'll come back and we'll check the cells and see if they are up where they need to be. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so the Hubson charger told us with the three green lights that it was done charging the battery. Okay, so with my other charger, it took 13, almost 14 minutes, 3 minutes, 13 minutes and 52 seconds to finish charging this battery. Okay. So, almost 14 more minutes it took to get it to this charge. So, let's see. Where we're at as far as... And then once again, it brought it up to 434. 435 and 434 which the other Hudson charger if I remember right without going back and watching it, it was like 429 430 431 so this actually gives it a fuller charge than the Hudson charger so no sense doing any more um I was I was a little concerned that this 
Hudson Charger may not be balancing the cells, but apparently it is. It's just not giving it a full charge. So once again, after the Hudson Charger was done charging this, it took 13 more minutes with this charger to get it up to a full charge. And the cells are fairly balanced. So if I were you, even though the Hubson charger said it was balancing this pretty even, just not at a very high capacity, I would still invest in something like this. It's just going to be safer in the long run to charge your batteries with something like this. You just get a better a better charge and who knows maybe you know over a period of time this would not even do as well as it's doing now who knows so but all right so at least we know that so thanks for watching i appreciate it this is drone pool signing out